In China, a magnitude 6.3 earthquake hit inland Sichuan province on Saturday afternoon, leaving five people dead and 54 injured. The China Earthquake Administration says the quake occurred at about 5 p.m. in the Gansu Tibetan Autonomous Region, or prefecture. The focus is estimated to be 18 kilometers deep. China's state-run Xinhua News Agency says most of the casualties were in Kanding County. The disaster area is at an altitude of more than 4,000 meters. Survivors evacuated to temporary tent shelters amid freezing temperatures. In May 2008, a magnitude 8 quake in Sichuan left 87,000 people dead or missing. The province also suffered casualties and tremblers that struck in April and August of last year. Aftershocks continue to hit Nagano Prefecture, central Japan, one day after a powerful earthquake struck the area. A quake measuring 6.7 on the Japanese magnitude scale struck shortly after 10 p.m. local time. At least 34 homes have been destroyed. Over 40 people have been injured, seven of them seriously. Most of the serious damage is concentrated in an area about 10 kilometers from the epicenter in northern Nagano Prefecture. No one has been killed, but some residents were temporarily trapped inside their homes. 73-year-old Kimito Tsutaki was sleeping on the first floor when the jolts occurred. It shook violently, and the light fell from the ceiling. So I quickly covered myself with a blanket. The next thing I knew, the second floor collapsed, and I yelled for help. Neighbors rushed to help. They jacked up the ceiling and pulled Kimito out. Meteorological agency officials have recorded several aftershocks in the area. They say there's a risk of mudslides when it rains, as the ground has been loosened by the jolts.